You alright guys, how we doing? Clinicality here, back with another player review. Today, we're reviewing the inform Marko Arnautovic from Stoke. Now he earned himself this inform after scoring both goals in Stoke's 2-0 win over Manchester City last weekend. Very, very well deserved inform. And as you can see, this is the team that we used him in. Majority Premier League team with PK and Jordi Alba at the centre back and left back spot. The team played okay, it wasn't the best team I've ever used. Just to show you guys, I didn't use any player instructions on him, I left him basic. I tried it for one game and he seemed to work quite well, so I left him as he is. Now we played 8 games with him this time, it was going to be 6, but my Elgato decided to stop working part way through and I missed off 2 of the games. So in order to get some extra clips for you guys, I played an additional 2 games. All in all we played 8 games, scored 7 goals and got 3 assists, which is not too bad at all. He cost us 42,000 coins. And at the time of making this video, he goes for about 40k on Xbox and 35k on PlayStation. Onto his base stats, and he's got 78 pace, 82 dribbling, 77 shooting, 51 defending, 80 passing, and 78 physical. Jumping into the in-game stats now, and the main stat that's going to stand out for me on this card is his strength. 84 strength on a winger is not something you see very often, and it could play a really important part in this guy's card. Onto the skill attributes now, and he's got a lot of good 80 stats, 84 ball control, 86 crossing, 82 curve, 84 dribbling, 82 short passing, 80 shot power, loads of decent stats. He's 6 foot 4, you can play left mid or right mid, medium medium work rates, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skills and he's right footed. On top of that he has the flare trait and the long shot taker trait. Now as I jump into the clips, I want to start off talking about his strength, because it plays such a big part on his card, it's so good. Most wingers would be trying to pace past fullbacks. This guy doesn't need to. He doesn't have that blistering pace. He just pushes them out the way. He's just so good. If anyone gets shoulder to shoulder with him, he will just push them out the way and just storm his way through the defence. Onto his dribbling. His dribbling is really, really good. As you see here, he just dribbles straight around the goalkeeper with a little fancy finish. For such a big player, he can actually turn quite quickly on the ball. He isn't the most agile of players, but it's not bad at all and you can dribble past a few players. Now he has 4 star skill moves, however when you try to use them they feel a bit sluggish. I'd say his dribbling itself is really really good but his skill moves just don't really feel that silky and they're a bit slow. Onto his passing now, his passing is again pretty decent, I mean his short passing and long passing are pretty good but his crossing, his crossing is really really exceptional. He is a winger so he is going to have to cross the ball, now I didn't really play with a target man, I used Martial but had I have used someone like Lukaku. I reckon I could have scored so many more goals because his crossing was so good. If you have a target man in there, this guy will find him. His crossing is spot on, really, really accurate. And the other good thing about this card is he can be on the receiving end of that cross. He's tall, he's got great jumping, really, really good heading, and he always seems to get himself inside the box. So his jumping and heading are really, really nice. On top of his good heading, his finishing is really, really nice. He scores most of his chances up close. However, for me, he has the long shot taker trait, but it didn't feel like that at all. I tried a lot of long shots with this guy. A couple of them were decent, but most of them ended up flying over the top of the bar. They just felt a bit too powerful, and he didn't really have control of them. Lastly, I'm going to talk about his weak foot. He's got four star weak foot, and when he's actually on his left foot and uses it, it's really, really good. But most of the time, he decides not to use it. Whenever he got into an opportunity on his left foot, he'd try to use his right it was almost as if he refused to use his left foot. And you'll see in this last clip, a prime example of that. He could easily just hit it with his left, but he opens up his body and finesses it with his right foot. Now he picked up an average match rating of 8.3 over the games that I played with him. It's a pretty solid rating, it's nothing special, but it isn't too bad either. Now his pros for me have to be his strength. His strength is amazing, such a good stat to have. Jumping and heading, his finishing up close, really, really nice. His passing, in particular his crossing, and of course his dribbling. The cons, skilling with him feels really really sluggish and slow. He doesn't use his weak foot as often as I would like, and in certain situations it can really mess you up. And his long shots go over the bar a lot. All in all, I actually really enjoyed using him. He had a completely different feel to most wingers. Most wingers are fast and small and agile. Here's the complete opposite, it's like taking a big target man and putting him out on the wing, but somehow it worked. And because of it I had a lot of fun using him, overall I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. 
He doesn't feel particularly natural out on the wing, but he's still a lot of fun to use. And if you like playing with strong players, he's definitely one for you because he feels like an absolute tank out on that wing. As always, if you guys decide to go and pick this guy up, try him out for yourselves. Let me know down in the comments how he performed for you. Other than that, if you enjoyed, please drop a like on the video. Click that subscribe button for more player reviews and other FIFA content. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.